Hi friends, welcome back to Canopy Kitchen. I'm your host Maya and today we're going to get into some delicious summer cocktails. They are inspired by my time working as a bartender at the Signature Suite for Air Canada. It was an international business class lounge and I got to get my hands dirty and work with a lot of cool liqueurs and alcohols and work with a lot of different recipes. The first cocktail I'm gonna be making today is the Fresa Reposado, which uses Don Julio Reposado, or you can use Blanco if you'd like, some fresh strawberries, fresh lemon juice, fresh basil, as well as some Aperol and some simple syrup. To start, we're going to muddle some fresh basil and strawberry. So you want about four decently sized basil leaves. Then we're gonna take a whole strawberry and throw it into our shaker. For this part, you do need some kind of pestle or a muddler if you have it. You can use whatever you have in your kitchen, obviously. So just give that a good muddle. Now you should have a very aromatic strawberry and basil fragrance that just wafts into the air. It's so delicious smelling and you will have the base for the cocktail. Now I'm putting in 0.75 ounces of freshly squeezed lemon juice, 1.5 ounces of Don Julio Reposado, 0.5 ounces of Aperol, and one ounce of simple syrup. And for those of you who don't know, simple syrup is a equal parts sugar and water. And then you boil that together and you create simple syrup. And it's used to sweeten many different cocktails. Now I'm just adding my ice to the cocktail and this cocktail is shaken. So I'm gonna add about maybe three to four ice cubes. Now because this cocktail has so much pulp in it, we're gonna wanna give it a really good shake. You know when the cocktail is perfectly shaken when it has a beautiful outer frosted coating on the shaker. Now for this cocktail, you want a Collins glass or a highball, and we're gonna fill that with ice, preferably crushed ice, but today I'm just using your regular run of the mill ice from the freezer. And now we're gonna add in our cocktail. We wanna double strain it so that we get all that pulp out. Now I'm just going to double shake the cocktail because I didn't have crushed ice, so this will hopefully crush some of the ice. Add my straw. Now that the wash line on our glass is perfect, we're going to go in with our garnish. So I've got some fresh basil leaves here. I'm just gonna clap them in order to emit the oils and the fragrance. It's a little trick we have. We're gonna add them into the beverage. You're gonna use your straw to poke them in a little bit and stir it around so you get a nice layered dimensional look. Then we're gonna take our garnish strawberry and we're going to slice off the end of it. And the trick for putting it on the glass is that you slice down the middle of the strawberry. And I'm just tearing along the basil leaf a little bit so that I can slice it onto the glass as well. And voila, you have the Fresa Reposado. Next, we're making the Serendipity pun intended. It's a really nice Southern style charm cocktail with a fancy twist to it. It is made in a rocks glass. So it's this short glass here, which sometimes people will drink brandy or whiskey out of. And this uses Averna Amaro, which is a really nice, warm, spiced digestif. And then we also have some bourbon as well. You could use wild turkey, but I'm using bullet bourbon. And then we also have some steeped black tea and some lemon simple syrup, which is just equal parts sugar, water, with some lemon zest boiled into it for the infusion. We're going to shake this cocktail with some ice. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm doing 1.5 ounces of bourbon, 0.5 ounces of Averna Amaro, 0.5 ounces of lemon simple syrup, Damn, that's really good. Next, we're adding in two ounces of heavily steeped black tea. You can use orange pico, Earl Grey, anything very classic black tea. Now we're gonna give it a really good shake, hoping that the tea will create a frothy foam for the top layer of this cocktail. <laughs> the more you dance, the more flavor goes into the drink. So I'm told. 
So this cocktail I'm serving with a king cube, but as always, presentation is really up to the presenter. You can serve this however you'd like, but I'm choosing to do it in a rocks glass with a king cube for a fancy twist. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to double strain again. And there should be a little bit of froth and foam on the top layer. And you really wanna shake out that extra foam. Then for a final touch, I garnish with a dehydrated lemon wheel. Our next cocktail is one that I call the Ruby Politan. It's my spin on the Cosmo. This is typically served in a martini glass, but today I just have the coupe glass, which works fine. I actually love this glass. It's one of my favorites to drink cocktails out of. For this cocktail, you will need apple Ciroc or apple infused vodka of some kind. You'll need some Remy. You will need some rhubarb bitters, some Aperol and some lemon juice. Although this cocktail does have several different alcoholic ingredients, it's pretty simple to make and we're just gonna shake it with some ice in a shaker. So this cocktail uses one ounce of St. Remy Martin, 0.5 ounces of apple Ciroc, 0.5 ounces of Aperol, and 0.5 ounces of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Now we're gonna give it a really nice shake. Now we're gonna double strain into our coupe glass. Next, I like to add my rhubarb bitters in last, just so the aroma is still fresh on the top of the glass. Just a couple dashes. I do about four dashes. Now to garnish our Ruby Politan, I'm using some edible flowers. You can use really any kind of edible flowers that you have access to. I prefer to use different colors for a more textured and dimensional effect. And there you have the Ruby Teeny. So refreshing and delicious. Very tart from the rhubarb bitters as well as the Aperol, but also very sweet and sour from the apple and the lemon. So you get a nice balance of flavors. And there you have the three delicious summer cocktails. I was really inspired making these. I wanted to create something for everyone. You have a whiskey drink, a tequila drink, and you have a brandy vodka drink. So you have a variety of different alcohols you can try, many different flavors, something a little bit more sweeter, something a little bit more fiery, and something a little bit more bitter sour. So. I hope you guys try these recipes at home. Make sure to take pictures and tag us on Instagram because I wanna see them, I wanna repost them. Once again, if you guys are interested, go follow us at Canopy Kitchen on Instagram and TikTok for even more content, more reels, more TikToks, and we will see you guys next time. Subscribe, comment, rate, and like. Bye for now.